All right, just got to go fitness. I'm gonna do a 30 minute and start my timer. If you're first time hoopers, put it on your back. Have your knees slightly bent. Go. Whoa. You hear me okay? I'm gonna do a little hula hoop, then I'm gonna talk about my um 100 day cash savings envelope challenge when this song goes off. Let's just hoop right now. I'm hula hooping with a four pound hoop and I'm using my wireless lavalier microphone. Let me know if you can hear me. Put yes, you can hear me in the comments. We just say yes. That's a lot you have to type in there. Go we'll get your hula hoops, ladies and gentlemen. 30 minutes. I just came in for raking the leaves. So I know everybody's tired. I'm tired too. Let's go. You want to add a little more too? We can put our arms up, down, up, 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 down, up, down. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. All right. You put your arms in front or your arms behind your head. You just hold them out like this. You're gonna burn so many calories and have fun. You have a two pound hula hoop or no pound hula hoop. I don't use a hula hoop um, larger than four pounds. But it's up to you what you wanna do. Arms out, you're out again. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. I'm gonna turn the music off and let's talk about my savings challenge right quick. So on September 21st, 2023, I decided to start a savings challenge. It's called the 100 Cash Envelope Savings Challenge. I told everybody to get your envelopes and label them all, starting with one and go all the way up to 100. Can you guys hear me? If you can hear me, type yes in the comments. For the 100 Cash Savings Envelope Challenge, get your 100 envelopes, label them one to 100. And each day you're supposed to put in the amount that's on that envelope. So for example, September 21st was day one, we put in $1. September 22nd was day two, you put in $2. September 23rd was day three, you put in $3. September 24th was the fourth day, you put in $4. September 25th was the fifth day, you put in $5. September 26th was the sixth day, you put in $6. Hold on. Can you guys so if you start the challenge September 21st, the 100 cash saving envelope challenge in 30 days, which would have been October 20th, you would have saved $465 in 60 days by November 19th, you would have saved $1,830. And in 90 days by December 19th, you will have saved $4,095. And in 100 days by December 29th, you will have saved $5,050. So I tell everybody, don't be discouraged. If you can't put in the amount, that's on the envelopes, just put in there whatever you can and save whatever you can. You just want to get in the habit of saving money and then at the end of the challenge, take that money if you want to have a spa day, take a trip, buy something for your family, pay on a bill, you have that option. But just do what you can, don't stress out about it. But what I want you ladies to do is to get your mind right, spiritually, mentally, but you have to have your finances right. Also, so this is just a way, I thought it was a fun way to save some money and then at the end of the challenge, do something nice for yourself. So anybody on this challenge, anybody on this live, are you, um, did you, did you, are you trying the challenge? Are you trying to save? If you are, how's it going? Drop it in the comments. Share this live with other, with your other friends who are trying to save money and might need a little motivation. I'm here to motivate ladies because um, 
I'm in the over 50 crowd, so I know what it's like to be busy and be tired. And you see a lot of money going out. But I'm here to tell you that it can be done. You can go to work. Come home, take care of the children, take care of your husband, boyfriend, girlfriend, mom, dad. But at the end of the day, after taking care of everybody else, you need to set aside 10 to 30 minutes to do something that you like. I love to hula hoop and I love to walk. So I don't care what's going on in my day. I'm going to hula hoop and I'm going to walk. So I'm just here to let you ladies know and gentlemen that self-love is not selfish. It's needed. Let me see. And you guys have to challenge a little more. So some people were saying that it's hard to save money. So I'll put it to you like this. I like to buy those. I'm sure other people like to buy those $7, $8 smoothies or coffees from Starbucks. So what I've been doing is making my own smoothies at home. Um, I don't drink coffee. So I bought the package of hot chocolate, make my own hot chocolate. I don't need hot chocolate from Starbucks. Um, going to the fast food, instead of going to the fast food every day, make something for dinner and take some of that to work for your lunch. So that's how I've been able to save money to put into my envelopes every day. So you gotta figure out a way of what you can give up. Hold on one second. What you can give up so you can save money. Because believe me, if you write down, which I did, write down what you spend every day, do it for seven days. I guarantee you, at the end of seven days, you're going to look at that list and say, there's a lot of things on there that I didn't want, I didn't need, I didn't have to have, I didn't have to buy. And then you would see where all that extra money was going that you could use for the 100 day cash savings envelope challenge. Because in January, I'm going to start another challenge, but it might not be as, as aggressive as this one, but it's going to still challenge you. To save some money. I'm so tired. Is anybody else on this live tired? Put a hand in the in the comments to say yes, you're tired. But you know what? We're gonna get this 30 minute workout in no matter what. Let me hear everybody say no matter what. Yes, I represent the 50 and over crowd, and I'm proud of it, and I'm happy to say it because a lot of people are not gonna make it to this age for whatever reason. But be grateful that you're here. Be grateful that you can move. If you got a hula hoop, get your hula hoop out. This is a four pound hula hoop. You can click on my uh, profile and use my Amazon link and just go in there and shop for this four pound weighted hula hoop. Or actually, you can use my Amazon link in my bio and shop for anything on Amazon using my link. No extra cost to you. And I thank you in advance. I'm gonna put the arms out if you're hula hooping. You can put, you can use hand weights. Or just ball your hand up or you can use bottled water. Okay, so recap for people who didn't who didn't weren't here earlier. We're doing 30 minute hula hoop, and I just got finished talking about my 100 day cash savings envelope challenge. Get your envelopes, label them. Hold on. So for people, some people started with me September 21st and we'll end December 29th. If you're just starting, that's okay. Get your 100 envelopes, label them for 100, and then start wherever you are. So if you're starting today, then you would write November 13th on there and you would go the next day would the second day would be November 14th, the third day, November 15th. So whatever day you start on, that's the day to be number one. It's too late to start where I started, which is September 21st. So don't worry about that. If you started with me, that's good. We're on November uh, 13th. We're starting. So today is November 13th, the 54th day of the challenge for me. So today I have to put in $54 in the envelope. So you get it? So keep going. So we're halfway there. I'm already this many envelopes is one to 53. This is what's done. This is what's left to be done. So see, it's doable because those days are gonna go by anyway, whether you save money or not. So I can do it, you can do it. All right, let's go. Put those arms out, arms in, arms out, arms in, out, in, out, in, eight, seven, six, Five, four, three, two, and one. I wrote myself a little note also. The ways that you can save for the, uh, how you can save, or oh, I already said, write down your expenses for seven days. Write down everything that you spent money on, and that way you can track. Um, then review that list, and then you can see what services or items or products you need to cut off that list that you don't need. And then also, not cut out some of that dining out at restaurants. It's okay in moderation. Um, look at some of your subscriptions you have for magazines and streaming and cable. Maybe you can cut some of those subscriptions out, maybe. Also your entertainment. I love going to the movies. I'm not saying cut out the movies and I go and I get the popcorn. 
but maybe you can watch some movies at home. Or maybe you can stream some movies at home. Just, you know, whatever you need to do to get through this 100-day challenge. Once you get through it the first time, when we do it again, it's going to be a piece of cake. And also, watch out for the impulse shop. When you go in the store, get yourself like 24 to 48 hours when you want to buy something. And then the next day you say, did I really want it? And then when you know, did you really want to buy it? Or you just thought you wanted to buy the impulse. So that's the money you also could be using for the challenge. And then also transportation costs. I know gas is expensive. Maybe you can map out your route. So when you're driving, if you got to go to these streets that are close to each other, maybe you want to go to those streets together to cut back on the gas and go to other places, loop, loop, you know, lump them together so you're not just going back and forth, back and forth, burning a lot of gas. Those are some of the ways that I'm, you know, I was able to save money for the challenge. I'm up to day 53. And I continue, I'm going to continue up to 100 days. And at the end of the 100 days, when I have $5,050, and I'll be letting you guys know I'm going to take it and pay it on my credit card. That's what I'm going to do with my money. So type in the chat, what are you going to do with your $5,000? With $5,050 when you get it on December 29th? Because that's when the challenge will be over. Right in time, right after Christmas. You have a break. And then we'll start another challenge in January. I'm not sure what it's going to be, but we're going to get in the habit of saving money. You know, you spend it. We also want to get in the habit of saving some money. Okay, those are my few little notes. So the punching bag. Let's work on these, these arms right here. Every little bit helps. Let me see something. Stay hydrated. How's everybody doing out there tonight? I was out raking leaves and I came in, so let me get my 30 minute workout on. Whatever you do out there, everybody, make sure you don't forget to take care of yourself. You can't take care of other people if you don't take care of yourself. Yep, gotta take care of yourself first. You're gonna do 30 minutes. Move your arms. Just add a little extra total body workout. In front. We're gonna take it easy. I'm not gonna work up too much of a sweat tonight, but it's still gonna be 30 minutes. It's still gonna help. It's better than nothing, right? Also, tell everybody you get a chance if you don't like hula hooping or if you have a bad back. Hold on one second. We'll see how it goes. In the meantime, get my workout on. Everybody got a hula hoop out there? If you don't, you can go to my bio, my profile, go to my Amazon link or my Bitable link. I order you a four pound hula hoop, a two pound hula hoop. I've been hooping since about uh, 2021. Well, actually, I can see a little picture, but it's so little. I can't hardly see it, but I like, I've been following you. I like you do those chair exercises. I'm going to try to incorporate some more chair exercises too. Okay, that's what's up. I got to start coming back down here. I've been so busy. Well, I don't want to say busy, but I've been doing other things that have pulled me kind of away a little from going live. Yeah, I haven't went live in so long, but I said, you know what? I'm going to hula hoop tonight. I'm going to go live tonight, and then we're going to just do what I do. Yep. I just so, finished class. You just finished your class? Uh-huh. And I what said, class? you know how we get done working out, just start scrolling. So I started scrolling. I said, oh, let me get my hula hoop. And then you sent me an invite. I was like, oh, wait a minute. <laughs> I called you out. You're like, let me, let me, let me answer that call. You did good. I was like, let me just click this button and see what happened. That's okay. It worked. Okay. Okay. So what class did you just get finished teaching? Sit and get fit. Sure. Oh, okay. And I'm trying my, my wireless lavalier microphone. Can you hear it? Yes. It sounds great. Good. I got it. It's pen right here. I said, let me try it. Let me try all my little toys today. So anybody need that wireless lavalier microphone? Click on my profile, go to my Amazon link, my Venable link, and order this wireless lavalier microphone. <laughs> put the arms out. Put the arms out. Bring the arms in. Okay. Wait a minute. I got to get my coordination together. Get some coordination together. Let's go. Arms out, arms in. Don't hit the, don't hit the hula hoop. Eight, seven, six. Five, four, three, <laughs> two, one. All right, let me see. Somebody else has to join. I wonder. Okay, what I'm going to do, arms out, arms in. 
I don't know if I've been doing this 30 minutes or not. I don't really tell people to go longer than 30 minutes because I don't want people to be all bruised and delay onset muscle soreness. And I know. I, I can see you a little bit. You 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 open now. I can see you. Uh huh. Yeah, you got it. <laughs> well, how many weights? How many pounds is your hula hoop? None. Oh no, no pounds. No, this is a beginner hula hoop. Oh no, the beginner ones with no weight is it's harder for me. Is it? Oh yeah, the four pound is easy. You should try a two pound, three pound, or four pound. It's so much easier. That the, the hoop with no weight is like a manual car <laughs> to me. That's hard. What you're doing is hard, but that's a good that's a good workout. But this four pound, look how easy it is. If I put that no weight hoop on, I'll be struggling. Uh-huh. Yeah, this four pound is and I got a travel, a travel uh three pound that I take with me when I go out of town. Okay. It comes apart, put it in a little bag, take it I with me when I go out of town, get my workout on. I have one like that, but I never learned how to hula hoop. And um, I went on YouTube and watched the video. And so they suggested getting one of these. And I did. And when I finally could keep it up, oh, <laughs> I used to do the infinity hoop, which I still have that. Okay. It's cool. But I okay. like this. I like this one. I like both of them, but I like this one. Okay. Were you on here earlier when I was talking about my um, savings challenge that I'm doing late? I came on. I just came on. Um, the savings challenge is um, 100, get 100 envelopes uh -huh. and label them from 1 to 100. Uh -huh. And each day you put in whatever amount is on that envelope. So I started September 21st. The first envelope is label 1. Uh -huh. And then you go consecutively all the way up to 100. And then, so what you do is get the 100 envelopes. Label them off one to 100. Do that first. Uh -huh. And then whatever day you want to start the challenge, you put that date on there. So I started my challenge on September 21st. Okay. So on the, my first envelope, I put September 21st. Mm -hmm. On the second envelope, number two, is September 22nd. And you just do that all the way up until you get to 100. So each day, you take an envelope and you put whatever amount is on the envelope, you put that amount of money in the envelope. Okay. So today we are on envelope number 53. We're on the 53, 53rd day of the challenge. And I even, I even mapped it out. So no matter when you start, so if you start today and you labeled it November, you started and you say, okay, my first envelope is November 13th. In 30 days from today, you will have saved $465. Okay. And then 60 days, you would have saved 1800 And then in 90 days, 4000 And then by the, by the 100th day, you would have saved the 5050 So no matter when you start. You can have legs um, shoulder width apart, or you can have your legs together. Bicep curls. There's the night away. 30 minute workout. That's it. I know everybody's tired. You got a lot of obligations, but your first obligation is to yourself. No matter what, you can't pour into somebody else's cup and pour your own, right? So they always say, on your arms. Turn around. If you want to get fancy? Turn slow so you don't get dizzy. Your arms in circles going backwards. Circles back. Circles forward. Bring your arms in. You press it forward, press forward, press back, press back, up, down, burn about seven calories a minute, about 10 minutes, hula hoop and burn about 100 calories, it's great for the waist and the hips. Just add this to your regular workout. Dance, dance the night away. When you get a chance, um, go by my stand store. 
click the, my bio. I have a lot of, I have a, some saving challenges on there and a free self-care challenge on there for 30 days. I have a 30 day home workouts for you. I also have a two week free stand store trial. Really easy to set up. So take a look at it when you get a chance. All right, I just came by to 